Hello guys, welcome to Unravel. We're just going to start a new game here real quick. And uh, we'll watch the intro and then we'll speak a little bit as we uh, start the gameplay. Scary looking she is. Almost demonic like eyes. It's always the grannies. And thus, the Unravel Man was born. <clears throat> okay, we in? We're in. So, uh, nice to have uh, a setting. We're a ball of yarn that fell down the stairs. And that's it. <coughs> but, um... This uh, was a game, what's this here? Empty book. Okay, so I guess we're gonna be collecting pictures and uh, stuffs. Um, but yeah, this this is um, it's a game that's on offer at the moment um, by EA. And um, it's currently going for six pounds 49. Uh, so it's uh, quite a good price. I think its original price was 15 pounds. Um, so yeah, very good price. And uh, it's kind of like a, a, a two-dimensional puzzle platformer-esque type game. Uh, I don't know too much about it. I've kind of ignored it up until this point um, because I knew that I was eventually going to be playing it. So uh, let's have a look at the thistle and weeds. So she's lonely. Oh, was this if we just entered the level? I think we just okay. So, so that was a, the the kind of hub world, I guess. Then, so uh, the level selection screen. So, uh, level thistle and weeds. Um, so, I I guess we're kind of playing uh, through this woman's memories um, via the photographs that we find. Uh, so let's just make our day. It's a very nice looking game. Two um, D, like I say, two D platform before got attacked by the butterfly. Um, but it looks very, very kind of open, uh, if, if you get what I mean. Uh, he tried to take another butterfly there. And we're unraveling. Uh, do we get skinnier? We do. We, we're getting skinnier the further we go. So, uh, And now we're having issues. So uh, we can't make it any further. Oh, but there's a ball of yarn up there. So you need more yarn. Hold R2 to throw a lasso. Hold R2 and move left to pull the sundial down. Okay, so uh, physics-based uh, puzzles. And we automatically ravel ourselves back up. Okay. So, so far, so good. You'll jump higher and farther if you run. Okay. And I guess just running is just um, linked to the analog stick. Uh, hold circle to grab things. Move the pot more to the left. Oh, okay. I understand. Do I? More to the left? That far, hold L2 to grab your yarn towel and climb back up using the stick. Okay, okay, I see. So we jump across, and I uh, guess we need to be doing. All ah, right, okay. Uh, so we'll drag this one over here now, and we'll climb ourselves back up and jump across. You always feel like a genius when you complete that first puzzle all by yourself. Uh, so let's throw the lasso. Okay, swing across, so let go, yep, let go to swing across, and uh, we're just being taught the basics of the game right about now. Oh, okay, I was waiting for something to happen, but <laughs> never did. So we've collected a spirit, a soul, a memory, I don't know, surfaces of the glitter like this, 
Can be climbed, use the left stick to climb. Okay. Press X to jump and R2 to throw a lasso midair, which we've already done. So, okay, great. So we've got some more yarn. Okay, press square to attach yarn. Try making a yarn bridge here. Okay, so press square, press square. Hold the left stick down and release the swing shot of, la of yarn bridges. Okay, so simple enough. Uh, very gimmicky so far. Um, but I do like what I'm seeing. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. It's, uh, I mean, very easy, but I expect it's going to get harder uh, the further we get in, which, which I'm looking forward to because I do enjoy a challenge. I do enjoy... Whoops, I've got some apples. Do you want apples? Yeah, I do enjoy a nice uh, challenge. Uh, I do really enjoy puzzle games uh, as a whole. Remember your lasso? Hold R2 and climb up using the left stick. Okay, you can tie knots while climbing. Press square to attach the yarn. Okay. Okay, I guess then we need to swing over and do the same thing here. So I like the fact that it hasn't explicitly explained what to do here, but it's fairly straightforward. Uh, pull the left stick down and press X to jump down from certain platforms. Okay, hold L2 and use left sticks to climb down safely from your yarn trail. Okay, we're going. <laughs> and there we go. Be fucked if you run out of midair, wouldn't you? See the whirring light? It means that you'll start here if you quit and come back to this level. Okay, so checkpoints. Oops, where is there? So it's, it's this whirring light there that is barely noticeable. Okay. So it looks like... Can we move? Can we drag the apples? I got a feeling we're going to be needing those shortly. So if we just put these over here. Oh, maybe we won't need them. I don't know. Okay, now I think we are going to need them. We're going to have to drag them this way. I guess they're going to have to go down there. Oh, come off it, Apple. Let's chuck that down there. So we're going to be making ourselves a bridge to get through. Can we push them all at once? Try and speed the process up a bit. There we go. I'm hoping this is the right thing to do anyway. Ah, I see, yeah. So they're going to act as a flotation device for us. So we just wait for ourselves to bob up. Can we reach up there yet? No. Can't quite reach yet. Oh! Oh! <laughs> we almost drowned. Alright. Dangerous. If you ever get stuck, hold down to restart a section. No, we don't want to be doing that, mate. And is that the end? It's essentially our tutorial level, I guess. And now we've got more to go, okay. Um, so I'm going to assume, do we have to pull it or do we have to tie our yarn to it and then pull it? Okay, yeah. Swing ourselves over. Oops. Oh, I see, we've actually, we've run out of yarn. Okay, so did we miss one? Um, let's have a look around it. Unless there's one down here somewhere. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Um, right, so we're going to have to come up and around because what we're doing is we're making a big tangle. So if we do that, we'll come down here. And then we should. We got. How do we get through there? Oh, I see. That's it. That's it. 
I don't know why they would be yarn just uh, casually sitting down there, but Granny likes to knit in some awkward nooks and crannies. <laughs> okay, so there was one thing down there that looks interesting there. Okay, so that looks like it could be a collectible of sorts. So let's grab that. Uh, doesn't give us an explanation of what it is, unfortunately, but um, there's still a red glow there. Have we? Is that just to signify that we've collected something? Let's just make your way back up. And um, do we have to pull that bike with us, maybe? Oh, I see. We pull the bike across and then we can then open up the latch. And so we've gone through the garden. And we ride the bike. Freedom! Freedom! It's dangerous, mate. Oh. <laughs> Face plant to the tree stump. Okay. Was there something, anything down here? This, I thought we were actually finished with this level here, so I'm... Um, I'm happily surprised that it's uh, going on a bit longer because it's very relaxing. So I am aware there's uh, an area to the left up there, um, but I can see a button there. Now, is there any way to get that without? Hmm. Maybe, maybe ooh, it's something we have to come back for later when we're able to do another trick, or or maybe we just swing into it. No? Okay. Ah, completely missed. Is there anything we can do here to make our way down? Can we climb down? So it's going to be a tricky one to get. Can we shoot it? No. I'm still convinced we need to swing ourselves in there. But, aha, we've got it. We managed to get it just about, just about. So I'm glad we didn't have to leave that one behind. So let's continue on. So up the tree. Ah, there's our next one. So we just casually swing ourselves around. George of the jungle. Oh! George of the dead. Fuck! <laughs> we might have just died in a game that you shouldn't really be dying on the first level, at least, anyway. That was what I was trying to do. There's another spirit soul. There we go in our treehouse. Which we now have. We have your soul. Okay, so we're going to have to pull this one again. Oh, okay, there we go. Lovely. Look at that. Proud march. Whoops. B block. If you take that with us, I'll tell you what, we're going to have to tie something up first, aren't we? So we'll do that. Ah, oh, okay. Take the block with us to act as a step. Alright, oh, and then we're going to have to take the block back up with us. Have we just fucked up? Okay, maybe we don't need it. We'll soon find out. No. Oh, there's a 
a little hedgehog down there. And is there anything up this way? Just want to have a quick check. So before that flips over, anything? No, nope, there's nothing we can grab onto. I thought there might be a little hidden area somewhere, but no, I was wrong. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what. Uh, this is where we need the block. We need to put the block on one side. And then, so can we untie these as well? Ah, we can. So that's what we were supposed to do. Let's pull the block there, tie that back up, and perfectly balance the block on a piece of string, because that's how it goes. Oops. <laughs> So that will then allow us to jump over to the next part. Okay. Can we jump up onto that bit? No. Again, I thought there might have been something else going on there, but clearly not. Can we get out there? No. Nope. Looks like we're going through the window. Oh. You done gone fucked up now, didn't you? Okay, so we're in a dank shed. Uh, what's this? Oh, okay. Uh, another bridge type situation. Is it on? There we go. Looks like we're going to have to take this with us. What is it? Palace T. Don't know what that's supposed to be. But we can't do anything else with it for the moment. Unless that was just to act as a platform for us to jump over there, but then we can grab onto that, so I don't know. Ah, uh, I understand. I understand. There we go. We just got a little bit ahead of ourselves. That was all. So this very much reminds me of Little Big Planet in the way that the uh, platforming and the uh, mechanics work. There's another button there. Let's grab that. Oops. <laughs> Wee! Back outside. Looks like there's another button there ready for us. Excellent. So is that our medal? Or lollipop? You've earned a trophy. Missing piece. Right, so that's part of the book that we are, uh, I guess, filling up. There's photographs next to you. Just put those in there. She'll never know. Okay, so we'll have a quick look at this book here. So Thistle and Weeds, how beautiful this was when it was new and how beautiful it still is even though time has made it different. It's very hard to read that writing. Uh, so there's some pictures, a little boy, girl in a barn. Oh no, that's the house, <laughs> they live in a barn. <laughs> Kids climbing a tree, digging, tree housing. Very nice, it's kind of like the childhood I never had. Okay, and then we're back to blank pages again. So, that's nice, I mean, we're, we're filling up this book here. Lichia Bluma Unsma Enkla Ting. Pillow, obviously a different language. But, 
whatever language it is, I don't speak it or read it, so I don't understand. But that was the first level. It was quite enjoyable. I quite enjoyed that. Um, so I think we'll, we'll call it a day there, guys, and uh, we'll find something else in the next episode. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, I'll leave my Twitch in the description below for you guys on YouTube. Uh, if you want to follow me there, you can get notified when I go online. You'll get to watch the videos uh, before they actually get uploaded to YouTube then. But uh, in the meantime, guys, I'm going to head off. So thanks for watching, and bye-bye.